Wayward back to welcome Wanders. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did you suffer some head trauma while we were gone? <laughs> <laughs> it must have been because I was I was feeling nauseated from being underwater while sleeping. Yes. <laughs> uh, outtakes. <laughs> I placed a bucket of water instead of the bed. But yeah, we slept. So we've reset our spawns here in the shadow of Chichen Itza, the Great Pyramid here. How do you think we should go about this? Um, I don't know. Walking up to the top obviously seems like a possibility. We kind of took a peek into some of these little buildings, and it just yeah. Seemed should that they we had... maybe clear out the buildings first to see maybe there might be okay help, helpful items, the loots, the loot and whatnot. It, they do seem like little yeah, loosely there's... based on villages. And it seems like yeah, there's even like more a little bit farther over here. And so I'm gonna start kind of like heading over this way and get a sense of just how many there are. And hmm. This one looks like it might have something on top. Oh, wow. Do things take longer to break when you're on a lighter? Yes, they do. Okay. Welcome Science. to Minecraft, Kurt. <laughs> so I was breaking a skeleton spawner. I guess you don't spend a lot of time in FLOB on a ladder, huh? This is true. I can't even remember the last time I was on a ladder in FLOB. Yeah, it always surprises me sometimes when I see people who've been playing the game as long as I have who get surprised by certain game mechanics, but I'm like, yeah, I guess some of these game mechanics aren't things that you really encounter every day. <laughs> so I'm letting you off the hook this time. Thanks! With just a verbal warning. <laughs> so yes, this appears to be very much like a kind of normal villager village, except made out of the sandstone and vines and got the Chichen Itza art style here feel going for it. Mm. There's a, there's a cow in this house. A sacred cow! <laughs> oh, and this doesn't go anywhere. Oh, a chest. A single melon, two dandelions, and two pieces of wheat. All right. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly useless chest we found though so far. When you say that we found, I was just thinking to myself, <laughs> it would be interesting. I don't know that any of the viewers will have been like keeping count, but I feel like you've spotted 99% of the chests that we have <laughs> uncovered during this playthrough. All right, I didn't see anything over in kind of like the little side village over here. Oh, the one that was through the... Kind of like through the little path and... Canyon? Yeah. Ooh, that's a witch spawner. I should probably destroy that one. Oh, hey, smart move. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking around to see if I can see your name tag to know where you are. Oh, I think I can see you over there. Yeah, I'm kind of where... Near the bridge above you. E yes, yes. That I can barely see through the clouds. And the bridge actually could be an interesting thing to go up and take a look at as well. I'm not sure if it's just there for decoration or if there might be stuff up there. Yeah. Should we do that before or after we go up to the top of El Castillo? <laughs> um, I'm trying to see if there's like a path up to the bridge. I see. Oh, it's a... Oh, this furnace has hydroxide. We've seen that quite a bit of that. Splash stuff that we don't know how we would possibly use without causing harm to ourselves. It would be interesting if they had a... I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what I would like, but like a different... Uh, yes, the furnace with hydroxide. I think it's a different one than the one that you just found, possibly. Too. No, no, that was nope. the same one. That was the same one. We've come full circle. Um, yeah, like a different like potion throwing mechanic in this game, so that you could throw them farther or aim them better or something. Like if you could craft a slingshot, I don't know. Yeah, like how you. Oh, thought maybe they'd go somewhere. How you like charge a grenade in other first-person shooters or something to be able to throw them further or whatever. Something like that. Something like that. I don't know. If you want to check out the bridge, we can do that. All right. I so Yeah, like you, like you said, I don't know a good way to get up there. It would give us a nice little kind of like overview of this area. We might be able to see if on the top we could like see any spawners up there or something before we head in there too. Yeah. Um, but apart from vines, yeah, it might be a little bit of a, a track. Oh, but that's, oh yeah. There's hey, a... Yeah. There's... Oh. Hey, a thing. <laughs> we found a thing. Oh, yeah. And there's a ladder. <laughs> Speaking of things I don't use... Hey, I think I found the way. All right. I'm following you upstairs. And I thought that we were going to get some hiking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nope. Just, just ladders. 
I suppose ladders. That's still that's still a bit of a kind of a good workout and exercise. Like I don't see my arms actually moving here, but yeah, it, it would be. I expect in real life ladder this long. Oh my! Interesting. I just climbed up, and boy, are my arms tired. It seems like there are like <laughs> real world caverns here, and it's yeah, just, just kind of like them. covered them up in such a way that it's like, yep, here's a cavern. In case you were interested in the scenery. Okay. Provides a nice overlook. Right. There might be something on the very top. Yeah, I'm also... I'm just trying to go to the very top of this hill and then take a look down. So there's a beautiful tree with some more vines that I can climb. Oh, and there's even like a little platform up here. Hmm. Yeah, I just like mm -hmm. see like fiery colors kind of on top of that. I see you over there. Hello. Binoculars. Oh, there's a chest up here. Oh, <clears throat> oh my. It has. Oh, Ar Ar Arjuanas? Arjuanas? It's a J and for Mexico. Arjuanas bow. Power two, punch two, infinity one, unbreaking one. Some say the wood is imbued with the power of the gods. I see. I would say that's better than the bow I'm currently carrying. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Ooh! His boots. I finally saw something else. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> so back over in the direction that I am, if you see me over on this other tree. Hello! Can oh, you hello! Me Woo! <laughs> Way up in the distance. Uh, basically, back over in this direction further, there is another set of structures that look pretty cool. Mm. So after uh, after the big one, uh, we got another one over in this direction. That this, looks this is significant. Interesting. There are enchanted arrows. Explain. One of, I mean, they're like glowing stuff. There's mm -hmm. a set of 20 poison dipped arrows that have power one. 20 sharpened arrows that have sharpness one. And 20 dual tipped arrows that have thorns one. I'm not sure how one would use these. Yeah, I don't know if those would actually deal any extra damage or if they're just for looks. I don't know. Yeah. They don't stack, so I'm not sure how worth they are bringing with, but I guess I will. <laughs> I just realized I'm still carrying around Benjamin's button, which is a wooden <laughs> button with infinity one. <laughs> infinity button. You can click it as many times as you'd like. All right, it seems like that way is the only way down. There's no way down over here. I see. That was the other thing when we were walking across. I was wondering if it was just going to be, just lead to another ladder on the other side, and then there's going to be nothing, and then... Right. Well, I think that was worth it. Now that we have, we both have infinity bows. Yeah, now right? that we both have infinity bows, that's actually yeah, that's pretty nice, pretty cool, cool deal. Oh, <laughs> don't just fl fly down the tube. You'll hit one of these ledges and it'll hurt. I see. <laughs> Good tip. <laughs> tip of the day from Chichen Itza. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's just how you remember it in real life, right? Yep. Climbing ladders. There was, I do remember, maybe it'll be up there. At the top, there was like a hole that was covered with a very flimsy and rusty gate. Mm -hmm. And I tried to like stick my camera through it to like take a picture to see what was down down the middle of the, the pyramid. But it was kind of creepy. <laughs> it was kind of one of those things like, I should probably not stand on this because I could fall in type of rusty gate. Gotcha. The, the high safety standards of the uh, Mexican tourism board. <laughs> Not to mention the ancient Mayans. Oh, yeah, them too. I'm sure they had that in mind. Well, in about 2,000 years, some crazy Americans are going to be coming here to visit. <laughs> <laughs> so do we want to sleep through the night or just jump on in? Or uh, I guess our spawns are already set, so maybe it would be more fun to jump on in. That's actually oh. a good idea. Under the moonlight. The one thing I do remember is that the staircase was very steep, like dangerous steep. So it took you more than 10 or 15 seconds to run up it? Yeah, yeah. Should we check out? Um, look at around the outside. I don't really see a whole lot. I see a bunch of chests inside. Yeah, we did notice that there might have been something on top. All right. Do you want to go on top first or should we check yeah. out the chest first? All I'm right. uh, pillaring up. I see. Oh, that's not going to work. I eagerly await your field report. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's a beacon. 
Oh. An unlit beacon. Interesting. That could be used. Well, I don't know how you light a beacon. <laughs> well, we need the like nine blocks under it or whatever. And... Oh, uh, oh. Well, it's up there. It would have looked cool if it was like out of the top of the pyramid here. But it would have looked cool if it was out of the pyramid. And I wonder, possibly, <laughs> you know how uh, when we uh, like kill a boss, then like the redstone platform appears. Oh. I wonder if it might appear like under the beacon and then light up the. I. I mean, I have no idea. Mm. If you can even do that with the command box, I don't know enough about beacons interacting with commands. Ink sack. El Castillo. Here's a book. Yeah, there's a written book over here as well. Chichen Itza, El Castillo. The portal between time and no time. The very rock of this pyramid is the hardware which makes the connection between man and creator. Offer what you will to manifest the ones who came before. Capital O on ones. The sun and the stars are both supported and tamed by faithful offerings. The people maintain the cosmos as the cosmos maintain the people as it is the circle of existence. Okay, <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> is this supposed to be like where they chop people's heads off? I don't know. Is this like at <laughs> the altar? I've got a book entitled The Connection that says Existence. The beacon supplies the connection between man and creator. El Castillo supplies the beacon. The people supply El Castillo. Supernatural forces are controlling the connection, but no warrior has been able to rid the earth of them. Life will remain out of balance until the beacon is restored. Aha! Ah, okay. Well, good thing we read these things. <laughs> it's a good thing we can read. There's a potion of jump boost and regen in here. And then there are some gold ingots and uh, iron ingots that are offerings. Uh, so presumably maybe they're used for turning on the beacon after we do something something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, there's boots and other wart is offerings. So how... <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah, oh, there is a grate. See, I told you there'd be a grate and, and like a tunnel down to who knows where. You did tell me exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> I've been here before. Wow. And this one, conveniently, is on a hinge. <laughs> yes, this one opens. Is that? I think that might be water down there. It so. looks like water. You want me to go uh, down? Tally ho! <laughs> yoink! <laughs> I'm good at saying yoink at the wrong times. Oh no! You wish to fight me? You will sink. You will sink into the heat of souls. I hear slime. Minions to my side. Oh look! There's uh, a whole bunch of graves that are tastefully decorated. Pakal. Minions to my side. His minions are taking a while to get to his side. Uh, speaking of ladders, we're not really speaking of ladders anymore, but I see <laughs> I see, <laughs> I see, see another ladder that goes downward over here. Uh, they might be the same in all four corners. Ooh, I guess it's obsidian or something's really dark here. Oh, it's... Uh, oh, my goodness. Another... Magma slimes. Magma oh, cubes. Hey. This, is a, this is a place. I'm going to do a little bit of lighting up at the kind of upper level. Is he the boss? I would imagine so. Or is he a minion? Oh, that's a good question. I oh, feel I like he would be the boss. I see flaming stuff coming out of those. These. Oh, he has what? Minions to my side. Oh, his name is Magmus. So yeah, that makes sense. Oh yes, that also is. A good oh, there's reason. a minion. All right. Oh. I guess um, I'm gonna put on the. Uh, chest plate that gives me more hearts and uh, heal up a couple of hearts and then we'll go <laughs> take this guy down. I guess, yeah, I guess ooh, these guys will be immune oh. to fire. Oh, he's got a potion effect. Yeah, it's like green. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, he's like... Is it jump boost? Because it seems like he's jumping really high. Ow. Oh, these guys deal some damage. Yeah, he All looks right. super large. Actually, I wonder... Oh, wow. He just, like, rubber banded on me, too. All right, I'm going down. Yeah, he can jump into the middle. Oh, God! Oh, okay. I wonder if he gets, like, teleported back to the middle after he jumps a certain location or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa, gosh! Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Slow down there, buddy. Blowing. I gotta eat here. Yeah, I guess, I think he's bigger than, like, the normal size that you can get in the game, because you can have, like, all the slime cubes of different sizes or whatever. And it appears... Oh, hey, that's smart. We have bow and arrow. Infinity bows. Yeah. Kurt, you're a genius. Oh. 
<laughs> Go. But I think like each time they get larger, like they have like yeah, twice as much health or something, and it looks like uh -huh. it's like one or two sizes larger than like the normal biggest size, maybe. I don't know. Oh, so many little. I'm talking little about guys. people not knowing game mechanics, but <laughs> it's outside of the normal game mechanics. Oh. Ow. Oh yeah, that is. I see his name. Whoa, he's on top of me. <laughs> He's very friendly, Magma Cube. Yes, something. Do I have a better uh, melee weapon than this? I wonder if I should have that. Yikes, okay. I need to eat some food. Being arthropods, I don't know why I'm using that. Oh gosh, he's, he's dealing some damage. Yeah, Quit dealing does. it, bro. Whoa. Oh, hey, they just exploded yeah. into a bunch of more Magma Cubes. Hey, oh. all right, so. He has been broken down. Oh, so cold. The block is yours. Minions to my side. <laughs> Ow. All right, this All still right. looks kind of dangerous. Yeah, and I still need to cool. heal up a bit. So I'm kind of standing on the outskirts and using the infinity bow. Oh my. I oh, really there's... like the look of this uh, kind of underground area and it brings out the same uh, clay colors that were throughout the rest of the structure. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Oop, I need to eat. Oh, they're coming out the walls. Ooh, oh, are out they? The walls. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hear them kind of like outside the, the walls. Lava. I see. Right, because being other creatures, they are... They are fire immune. All right, all you little magmuses. Ouch! <laughs> Meet the Iron Sword of Justice. It's just a normal Iron Sword, but I'm gonna call yep. it a Justice. <laughs> it's dealing justice. Gosh, there's a lot of these guys. Yeah, I don't know if they just keep spawning out of the the walls here. They're in the walls. With the other boss. Guys, it seems like it was usually like there's you know like one or a finite number of enemies that were kind of like guarding an area. And so I imagine mm. that once we once we whittle down their numbers, they will have been whittled. Become whittled. <laughs> we're gonna whittle you into a wooden spoon. All right. Well, if we ever want to make some fire resist potions, I think we're gonna be in good shape because yeah, I've got like three creams. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah, magma cream, I think. Oh, All right. One guy behind you. It looks like there's only one or two left. I'm gonna take a peek into. Ooh, be careful of the lava. I just kind of like uh, shifted right over it. I didn't really notice. Oh gosh, that's sneaky. Adventure block test. It's the Chichen Itza adventure block, and Ow. it is nether brick. Ah. Hey, you know what? I think these guys just continue spawning. Yeah, there's more coming up. I see. So we've got the adventure block. Gah! <laughs> <laughs> but there is more to explore among these ruins. So should we head back outside and check out that stuff? Indeed. I don't think... Where did we... Okay, there's a ladder. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, is oh. this like the reset spawn thing? Interesting. Teleport to outside if climbing a ladder is too much trouble for you. That sounds fun. I'm gonna hit it. Ho ho! Did you teleport to outside? I did. Oh, it's I a see your name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Oh, I wonder if there's chests in these graves. Oh, doesn't seem to be so. Oh, Everywhere we go, you're just digging up graves. Yep. <laughs> there's beds. Not that we need beds. Sorry for disturbing your eternal slumber. I'm going to assume they're all just beds. But in video games, you always have to dig up graves. So there could be goodies. I suppose that is true. All right, at this point, we've accumulated enough stuff. I'm just back outside of the beds. I'm going to set down one of our four uh, extra ender chests mm -hmm. and just drop off like some extra stuff that I don't need to be holding right at the moment necessarily. 
Oh, you know what? I, I do need to teleport outside because the way we got down here was into that water drop. Oh! Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm up digging up graves. I'm like, how do I get out? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right. I think my inventory is pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm probably carrying one too many potions or something or other, but I think that'll do. So where was... So the thing I saw was over in this direction. Mm -hmm. It's a direction that you might not recognize. It's called East. <laughs> Balderdash. <laughs> Possibly. But over yonder, back when we were up on top of the crazy rope bridge, I saw something that looked amazing over here. So let's go check it out. And oh. you can tell me if this is also something from for real Chichen Itza. Yeah, this looks like the bathhouse where there's just a bunch of like columns remaining. I see. And so it used to be like an aqueduct kind of thing or something? Or did they have aqueducts in ancient I don't think there were aqueducts. But it okay. was kind of, it was explained to us as like a bathhouse where there would be like a pool of, of water. Uh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> there is indeed. It's, it's not just for looks. Or, it really oh, is a pool of water. Could be, this could be, there was another series of uh, pillars that was supposed to resemble like soldiers or something. So that like attacking armies from a distance would think they'd have a phalanx of soldiers protecting the city or something. I see. Some, something or other. Anthropology. <laughs> oh God, that sheep scared me. Uh, okay, what do we got in here? And then I oh, see we got some a buildings. All right, there's a, Witch a, spawner. a slime spawner in here, it would appear, which is interesting. And there's something downstairs in here. Oh, okay, yeah, I heard uh, baby zombies in the downstairs of this building. I see, building. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hop down. Uh, yes, there is a zombie spawner. It looks like it is a baby zombie villager spawner, possibly. Ow! And possibly a little, um... Ah, little ankle biters. <laughs> ah, oh, I'm in some serious interest. Interest? There's problems here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, they must have, like, path found a way and, like, spawned down here earlier, maybe? Oh, there's an enchanting table. Oh, wow, okay. And a there... golden sword with sharpness, too. There's a golden sword on the wall in here as well, uh, in an item frame. And now it's in my inventory, and it has looting one and smite two. Mm. And it looks like there's like a little maze of something here. Oh, hello, more baby zombies, and more enchanting table. Or is this what you just found? Oh, uh, that yeah, that was the where downstairs. I just the other building and the connected. Okay. Oh, they're falling to boots. All right, I am going to break down the baby zombie spawners because I do not like the baby zombies. I see. And the helmet. I guess I'll pick up the enchanting table. Yeah. Because, well, why not? There's a single egg. Delicious mm. and nutritious. Yes. Is there not, nothing beneath here? Huh. I see, yeah. I saw a number of buildings kind of upstairs, and so I guess these are kind of like all of the undergrounds of the said buildings. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. If you want to pillar up, I'll just uh, do the same and make a hole. Nope. Dink. What? <laughs> My head's too big. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. Oh, right next oh, to you. Right yeah. next to you. Oh, 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 right oh. Next to you. oh. All right. Fortunately, oh, okay. he didn't that see guy. me. <laughs> For whatever reason. He was like, hey, I heard an explosion. Are you okay? I just want to check things out. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. He just stood there and looked at you. Oh, man. That was funny. <laughs> oh, I may have soiled my iron chainmail pants. <laughs> well, oh man. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything at the top of these? Uh... I didn't notice from up top, but there was kind of like so much noise with all the like pillars and structures that it's possible that I would have missed something. But yeah, it seems like there was rooms that corresponded to each of these buildings, kind of on the surface, I suppose. Oh, I hear spider. Um, that's because... Oh, is it a cave spider? I think it's a cave spider. I'm gonna break the cave spider spawner and shoot the cave spider. Because that is what one does. Oh, I've fallen. <laughs> Thanks, Ixion. Ixion. How could this be? I have fallen. 
Ah. All right. Well, this is an interesting little side area. Indeed. Historically um, accurate. Yeah, it's it's too bad that there wasn't a wool block in there somewhere or something, but I think we did go oh, through yeah. all those little rooms. And so, uh, I guess, at this point, I've got the map, and, I mean, we can kind of do, like, a little bit more circling around this area to see if there's anything else. I guess to, we went to the east, we went to the south or something, I think, where mm -hmm. the other village village was. We kind of, like, walked in through the north, I think, and um, I guess we could check out to the west as well just to see if there's anything else. I think we can do that. I hear an Enderman, but I imagine he's just like in a cave somewhere. Mm. When you were at Chichen Itza, did you hear Enderman in caves? I did not hear Enderman in caves, I'm afraid. Although they, when you go on these, it was like an excursion. It's like a three-hour bus ride from the... A three-hour tour. <laughs> three-hour bus ride from Cancun. Uh, and uh, like, okay, you, you visit Chichen Itza, and then they take you to lunch somewhere else, but then you go you go to a cenote, which is a cave. Uh, oh, like yeah. Lake, I remember in uh, when we played Spellbound Caves, we started out in the cenote of The Apprentice. Ah, yes, indeed. And uh, you can go swimming in this underwater or underground cave lake, which was a very interesting experience. So they make it very, very touristy. That sounds kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, well, sure enough, in the cardinal direction, we found another thing. And... Oh, there's a creeper spawner in here. All right. I'm going to eat some food, as one does. And a chest with a music disc and five arrows and some milk and wheat. It's supposed to be some sort of shop sure. souvenir mm. stand. I'm a little bit worried about the milk. Uh, oh. It could just be that that's, you know, some of the things that are, you know, just around in this area, but could also mean other things. Okay, this is this is where they put all the decapitated heads. I found a kitty. <laughs> oh wow that they supposedly found under Chichen Itza neat a cenote with skulls and things oh wasn't something we we're supposed to like collect oh heads? yeah I think we were like collecting heads we could trade we could trade the heads with um Jeeves or whatever back at the monument keeper or something something Mm -hmm. um, I should get rid of two pieces of sandstone so that I can start picking up set heads. Set heads? <laughs> set heads. That's right. Oh, there's spawners in here. Yeah, I just saw okay. a zombie one that I lit. And there's a skeleton one. And yeah, it's almost as though they knew that we were going to be coming here just as night was approaching. <laughs> Alright, so I'll do a little bit of lighting up. Um, yeah, one almost wonders... Wonders. Wonders. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess not. I was going to say, oh. if we were going to be, like, electrified creepers, we'd be spawning in here, which is the normal way that you get, like, heads in survival mode or something. Oh. Although that would be pretty mean. Oh, you got a skeleton that just spawned. Oh. Hey, buddy. Don't mind us. <laughs> or do. <laughs> or do. We're just collecting heads of your brothers. All right. Yeah, I don't remember... I think it was, do you remember for sure? I think it was like Jeeves, the monument keeper, who wanted to like trade heads. Yeah, yeah. And we were like kind of curious how we go about getting them. And so now we know, or at least one of the ways. But yeah, I'm really, I'm kind of, I don't know, excited about the fact that there's so much real, you know, stuff from the real world uh, that's been replicated in these builds. Mm -hmm. And so it's, gonna, it's making me want to go back and uh, take a closer look at some of the ones we've already been to. Uh, something that I've been trying to remember to do is each time we found a new a new one of the wonders here in Wayward Wonders is to just kind of like link the Wikipedia entry mm -hmm. uh, in the video description so that people who want to read more about these real world wonders could actually go in and learn a thing or two. It's educational. That's right. It's not just for fun. <laughs> well, of course, a lot of them don't exist anymore, so right. I suppose certain... Uh... It's all just based on, like, whatever yeah. historical accounts or whatever, and so... Because even... I did read about 
the Colossus of Rhodes. And obviously the statue doesn't exist anymore, but the the oft depicted uh, the way we found him right. with his legs standing Spread across apart, right or whatever was actually supposedly like an impossible thing. They couldn't have built the statue like that. Right. But that's the way it's mostly depicted. I think we got all the heads. All right. Very good. We've dug up graves. We have gotten the severed heads. <laughs> is this like all a, in a day's work. Is this like a diving board over here? It almost looks like... Um, like oh, right that's... Here, <laughs> where the sheep is. Hey, sheep, they... get out of the way. <laughs> they walk the plank. <laughs> it seems like it. Yep. It's a, uh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> And at that, I think that's going to be the end of this episode of Chichen Itza. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we'll have to find another wayward wonder All right. in the next one. Sounds good. See you guys next time. Indeed.